I see this ad for like the new Jessica Simpson collection. In today's video, we are going to be talking about Anna O Negative, aka Glitter and Lasers, one of the most cringiest, fakest people on the internet. The only reason why I know about Anna O Negative is because of Freely the Banana Girl. I used to watch Freely in the past, a couple of her videos, and when she made a video about Anna O Negative, I was like, Oh, that's interesting. Can we get a hashtag O negative in the comments below? We're going to be talking about how she is attacking Jessica Simpson because of her weight. Now, Jessica Simpson has a clothing line at Walmart and Anna O'Brien is hating on Jessica and saying that she's not being supportive for quote unquote plus size women, which just means obesity, obese women. She's not being inclusive enough. Every brand is, is going to and wants to support obesity. That's not Jessica's problem. She has a wide variety of all sizes. In her video, when she was doing a Walmart haul, all she was doing was hating after hating after hating. And it's like, girl, it's not Jessica's fault that you did this to yourself. All of her clothes, she even sized up to try to make them fit. More than half of the clothes don't even fit her. And she still blaming Jessica for her weight. And it's not okay. That's just wrong. In the beginning, she also makes fun of Dillard's because Jessica Simpson also had her clothing brand in Dillard's, which is an American department store founded in 1938. She's making fun of Jessica for having her clothing line in Walmart and in Dillard's and it's like, hold up. So you're gonna hate on her having her clothes in stores, but what have you actually done with your life? Have you come out with a clothing line? Have you had a music career? Have you done anything good in your life? Anything that's successful? The only reason why you are known on YouTube is because of your weight. The only reason why people follow you is because of your weight wait. So don't be hating on Jessica for having her, her clothes in Dillard's and in Walmart. I mean, who do you even think you are? You think you're better than them? Why don't you get off the internet, seek some help, go to therapy, get some mental help, and when you're in a better state of mind, come back to the internet. Also take care of your weight. That's a big problem. That's really, really gonna kill you if you don't actually change. She is saying the only reason why she bought and supported the brand was because she owed it to us. How does that make sense? Why does she owe us a Jessica Simpson haul? Please comment below how does that make sense? She never shops at Walmart for clothes because they don't have her size because of her weight. She can only shop at certain stores and that's not Walmart's fault, the reason why she is at her size the way she is. And I think to myself, didn't Jessica Simpson have like a collection at Dillard's? <laughs> is Dillard still, I think Dillard still exists. Does Dillard still exist? If it does, it's gotta be on like its last legs. But I was like, I, she, this must be new, right? So curiosity got me, I clicked the button and lo and behold, I guess Jessica Simpson is now designing for Walmart. And I was very curious and even though the pieces aren't necessarily my aesthetic, I felt I owed it to y'all to check this out. I didn't need to go on walmart.com until recently, so here we are. First up, we have probably the most me look in this haul, this pink dress, right? It is very much giving country summer, right? We've got kind of this like lace overlay that comes down to this like gauzy tiered bottom, very country, right? I did size up in literally everything and I don't know if any of this is gonna fit me. So we have this dress that is very country and I felt because it's so country, let's just lean in. So I thought this together would be just like, yeehaw! I mean, if you're gonna Dolly Parton her way through life, you might as well fully commit. Actually, if this were Dolly Parton, there'd be a lot more sparkles and a lot more cleavage. The first look, I really, really love it. I think it is a beautiful and it looks great on her. She should wear more colors like this. And I like how the dress is covering her knees. Her knees to me are a really bad problem. Her knees are just 
always look like they're in pain because of her size. I'm not trying to hate, but I really like how she's covering up. She's also complaining and saying the dress looks country and that's not her vibe. This dress just reminds me of summer. Reminds me of spring. Reminds me of Easter Sunday. Reminds me of church. The outfit is stunning. It's really, really beautiful. This look, I would give it an A+. Plus. Put some braids in her hair. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. So I don't really understand why she's complaining and hating that the dress looks like it's country. So she wants to try to pair it with something that doesn't look country. That really doesn't make sense. I mean, she's allowed to have her own opinion, but the this dress doesn't actually look country. It just looks fun and summery. What is your opinion about this dress? About this whole look, actually? Oh my gosh, I'm just gonna start calling myself the flat-chested doll part. This is what I'm talking about. She's always trying to laugh at every situation. Every other sentence, it's laugh, 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 ha, ha, ha. It just comes off so fake and you could just really tell. Doesn't she know how to be herself? But then again, the people on the internet don't know how to be themselves. What is your opinion? And how she's grabbing her chest and wheezing? Stop. You're not even being funny. You're not even really truly laughing. Hashtag garbage. This reminds me of an outfit that someone would wear in a romantic comedy and like the girls from a farm. <laughs> But like, this is her like date night outfit to go dancing. Oh, negative. You are very wrong when it comes to this dress. This dress does not scream nighttime outfit. Let's go dancing. We have some embroidered jeans. And like, I know Jessica Simpson's kind of country, but like when I think of her, I think of like high heels and like Daisy Dukes, not like... I don't know, floral embroidery. I do think these are cute and I do feel like embellished jeans are gonna have a comeback this year. So they kind of feel on trend. But again, I personally wouldn't wear this. I got a 26. I am seeing right here from the pant that they are like straight up and down. <laughs> Which means there's not a lot of room for, for, for hope. That's what I'm real here. There's not a lot of hope that these are gonna fit because when I see pants like this, I can definitely tell that they've been cut because they don't have really any curve um, for someone that's more of an apple or a straight up and down shape. So the pants are super cute and I like how Jessica made them more fun with the embroidered on them and the little designs. Why would O negative waste her own money on clothes knowing she isn't going to like them, fit her or wear them? Why didn't she just buy plain simple pants that Jessica has. To me, Jessica's target audience for these clothes are more towards the youth. So what is your guys' opinion about what we have seen so far? If you guys have bought Jessica's pants or Jessica's clothes in the past, what do you think about them? Um, I really like the top of the pants. They're not thick thigh approved. They're not. <laughs> Jesus, take the wheel, my eyes! Or actually, Jesus, just let us roll. Let us go to heaven. Let us go. Oh my God. What in the holy fruit is going on? Wow, wow, wow. But the top is great. The top is fantastic. But the pants, the pants, I feel like I'm smuggling two hams into a movie theater. I guess that's not that inaccurate. Obviously she knew that the pants weren't going to fit so I don't know why she's trying to act all surprised and why she's also trying to joke around about it. But I also feel like Jessica's collection is perfect for the summer. Oh Negative said that her collection has been around for a while now but I feel like this collection just launched for the summer because so far, it's giving summer vibes. So what are you guys' opinions about the whole collection theme? The top is really, really pretty. I really feel like Anna could rock it with some maybe glisses and maybe white jean jacket. I think that would look really good. And if she could find some 
pants that fit, you know, put some braids in her hair, I think she would really rock this look. I want this to work so bad. Oh my gosh, I think this is so cute. So this is like denim, I don't know, what would you call it? I guess jumpsuit. It's giving Charlie's Angels. It has buttons all up the front and like a zipper closer. I actually, <laughs> the reason this is undone is because for a second, I didn't know how I was going to get into it. And I was trying to figure it out before the haul, but there is a zipper and there's buttons, but this top button is is very, very difficult to close. Um, there is a little bit of adjustability here in the back, but this is giving like Charlie's Angels, bad bitch o'clock, like fight some crime and then go to a disco. Oh, negative. What are you talking about? What is going through your head? You don't even know anything about fashion and what this even is. Oh, negative. Hear me out. Open your ears. This is called overalls. Overalls were really popular in the late 80s and in the 90s. This is not a jumpsuit. Okay, say it with me, Anna. Anna O negative. Overalls, overalls, overalls. The overalls don't even look or feel or represent Charlie's Angels or give off baddie vibes. What is she talking about? Is all of that toxic positivity just corrupting her brain? Does she even have a brain in there or just the coconut? I don't know, you guys tell me. Put the lime in the coconut and shake it all up. Put the lime in the coconut and stir it all up. Stir it all up. Stir it all up. We love a modest girl just as much as we love a girl that's not modest, but- Hold up, wait a minute. Let's just get a couple things straight. Who, ha, 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 who, ha, 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 ha. Wait. Did you guys just hear what she just said? Did you guys just hear what she just said? I'm being serious. She's saying that we love a girl that is modest, but we also love a girl that's not modest. Did you watch her when she went on that free sponsored cruise and she was hating on those swingers? She was hating on those women for wearing a bikini, dressing like a mermaid, dressing quote unquote immodest in her opinion, but yet she's allowed to go to the beach. She's allowed to dress up in a bikini and a bathing suit, dress the exact same way, but hate on those women. But here she's saying that she loves a modest girl and also a non-modest girl. Please tell me how this makes sense. Please tell me, like, what in the holy fruit is going on? I'm calling you out, oh negative. So what's good, oh negative? What's good? sure it'd be really great on someone who wasn't tall but on a tall person um if i let go of this jean you're gonna see everything um also i can feel like the waist like an inch higher would be where my actual waist is this is sitting on my low hip so it just does not fit me right it does not fit me right at all but i think it would look great on someone who is less tall average height maybe even petite for the for me, not not a win. So now she's complaining that the overalls are too small. But even if you look at the the pant length, she's drowning in them. She's saying that maybe someone else could rock the overalls. Anna, everyone can rock a pair of overalls. They just don't fit because of your size. Maybe if you sized up, then maybe they would fit. She's also complaining about the waist size. She's blaming Jessica Simpson and the clothes because they don't fit because of her size. I feel like if she would go up two sizes, she'd get the pants hemmed, she could totally rock this. Like if she got a cowboy hat or another type of hat, that she could rock this look. I am nervous about the pants fitting because I'm nervous about all pants fitting. And these are kind of, they do have an elastic band. So these, these actually might be okay. Uh, love the ruffle bottoms. I think those are so cute. I'm not nuts about the print. It's just not my style. It's again, very, very country, but not, it's like, I'm okay with country prints, but I want like louder. And this is kind of very like more neutrally colors. This next outfit, it looks really pretty and fun. When she puts it on, I wish the bottoms were long enough to hide her knees. Her knees just really, really bother me because they just look like they're in a lot of pain because of a lot of her fat is just hanging there and it just looks really uncomfortable and uh, I'm scared. Like I'm genuinely 
concerned. Like, I really wish that she would take better care of her health. Even when she is doing these fake fitness videos, she only turns on the camera whenever she's running, quote unquote running, she shows us for about like five to 10 seconds. And then after that, you already know that she is dying. She's in a lot of pain. And I just find it very, very sad. She's also complaining that she doesn't like the print. She doesn't like the style. But I'm like, hold on, wait a minute. Let's back up a minute. You're the one that spent your own money on this. You're, so you knew what these looked like. You knew that this was not your style, but why did you waste your money on them anyways? What was the whole point? Like, did you need that adrenaline rush? to just buy these and then complain about them on camera. She says she wants the print and the colors to be louder. So for someone her size, what she needs to do is wear black. Wear darker colors because darker colors, aka black, makes you look slimmer. So this is just a little chambray or chamois. I don't know what's the right way to say it. Dress. Oh wait, no, it is not a dress. It's a wrapper. Okay, I'm already seeing issues because the zipper to get into this is on the back. And as we know, I'm sad and single. <laughs> I'm not really sad, but I am single and I hate butt zippers in the back. And I know y'all are going to comment, like get one of those little things that helps you zip from the back. Here we go again. How can she not know what the clothes are and how the clothes look like when she buys them online? when she knows exactly what they are and look like. She's also mad that the zipper is on the back because she is lazy. She doesn't want to do another step in order to put on clothes because her having to do that extra step will take away some of her energy. If you guys know anything about people who are extremely overweight, they are always constantly tired but Anna always tries to flip everything and give off this disgusting bubbly jump around fake personality that she's always happy so for her trying to do anything extra like put on clothes take another step and buy one of those pieces to help her get dressed it'll just make her more tired so she doesn't want to have to do that yes I could 100% do that but do I want to do that? No, it's an extra step. And any extra step in getting dressed to me is a negative. So I'm already like, no, but I will try it because I love the internet. Again, she mentions that she loves the internet, but that's because she can't work a regular nine to five job. She can't stand for a whole eight hours. She could barely stand for like five minutes. Just like Amberlynn Reed, how they can't work a regular nine to five job because of their health. Well, I feel like maybe this haul has been a little bit of organized torture. <laughs> because I just, this should fit me. If the short set fit me, this should fit me. But, but clearly it's not coming past these thunder thighs. <sighs> So I guess we could say that the new line by Jessica Simpson is definitely not consistent in size. It's funny because some of the stuff that fits me is in the smaller size. <laughs> the stuff that doesn't fit me is in the bigger size. So make it make sense. Hold up. Wait a minute. Let's back up a minute. In the beginning of the video, she even told us that she sized up on everything. So now is she lying? What's going on, honey boo boo child? What's going on? I honestly don't even feel bad for her because she did this to herself. But I also want to say I'm very petite. I'm only 5'5". Five five. I weigh 112 pounds. And it's really hard for me to find clothes that fit and look good. And most of the time, I have to shop in the boys' clothes. So I kind of get where she's coming from. But at her size, she's still blaming everyone else except herself. The last look is by far the most me. When I say all over print, this is what I'm thinking. Like, if that short set was at this print, it would be like a slam dunk. You know, I would wear it all day, every day. In fact, I really love the print that's at the end of this because pink and red, which I love together. This is, this is cool. This is really cool. Jessica, can I call you Jessica or Miss Simpson? <sighs> 
what you got against girls with big thighs? Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. The blame game. She's blaming Jessica and saying that it's Jessica's fault that she has big thighs. She's saying that her being the size that she is isn't inclusive enough and that Jessica hates women who have AKA Thunder thighs. But let's look at the outfit really quick. Oh, negative. Let's talk for a second. Let's talk. Hear me out. Open your listening ears. Having these pants not fit you should motivate you to actually truly lose the weight. You should keep these pants, keep the clothes, so when you actually do lose the weight, wear them. Keep these around to help motivate yourself to lose the weight. Because... Literally, I know that this pant, once up, would fit my thigh. But the waistband's not big enough for me to see that. So, I know that it's not my fault. And that it's the clothing's fault. And if it's the clothing's fault, then it's your fault. Let's be real, it's no one's fault. Women's sizing is all over the place. But I would appreciate more consistency in your life. That way I know... Generally, I need to order up. What the holy fruit? Did you guys, like, is she being serious right now? Did she literally blame Jessica? Blame Jessica. Well, technically blame the clothes and then blame Jessica for her size, for her weight, for having fucking thunder thighs? That's just unbelievable. That's just crazy. She's the one that did this to herself. Oh my god, my blood is boiling. My blood is boiling. We all know how I get when my blood starts boiling. <sighs> this is not okay. Her behavior, what she just said, is not okay. The outfit itself is super cute, but it's not Jessica's fault. But then she also says that it's no one's fault. Sizes are all over the place. I get that. Me. Being petite myself, 5'5", five, five, 112 pounds, I myself have to shop in boys' clothes. And it's super embarrassing, but I also get to save money because boys' clothes are cheaper than adult clothes. For her to try to spin this around and say it's no one's fault, women's clothes are just all over the place, bitch. Who the holy fruit do you think you are? And she wants to also get mad at Jessica and say, Jessica... Miss Simpson, Jessica, may I call you Jessica? Like, who died and made you boss? Why are you acting superior? Why are you giving hella attitude? Because the clothes don't fit you. You have to shop in certain stores because of your size. You are unbelievable. I almost called you Jessica. <laughs> you are unbelievable, Miss O Negative. How dare you? How dare you blame Jessica for your own health mistakes, for your own bullshit? Wake up. This should honestly be another wake up call for to help motivate you to lose the weight. Point blank period. Sorry guys, I just got really heated in the moment. You guys know how I get and if you don't like that, then unsubscribe, go away go away. Or if you do like that I just was like very outspoken, hit the like button, smash the like button, slap it, slap, slap, slap that like button. But if I had ordered up and everything, that also wouldn't have worked. So just more consistency. Okay, so that is everything in the Jessica Simpson haul. Um, I've been humbled. I will probably not be shopping her styles in the future because I just don't think it's cut for me. Uh, this was a rough one, guys. This was a rough haul. Um, I'm going to go watch a TV show I like and remind myself that I'm beautiful and that clothes don't matter because it's never fun to get on camera and have most things not work for you. And it honestly hasn't happened in a while. So, you know what? Maybe I needed that. Maybe, maybe I needed that to be reminded of what it's really like to shop as a woman. Sometimes I get really good because I know the brands and I know how they fit me that I forget that for most people, this is what they experience every time they go shopping. And it sucks, it's not fun, but unfortunately it's how it is, so. Honestly, this should motivate her to continue to work out 
to eat healthier. But again, she's trying to spin this to fit her narrative. But also, for me, I'm 31 years old. I weigh 112 pounds. I am 5'5". Five five. Clothes shopping is super depressing because most fashion brands, most fashion designers only design for the regular size men. So the ones that are five nine six feet even i myself get really depressed and upset whenever i have to shop because it i have to shop in the boys clothes i do get to save a lot of money but that's not the point when i was also growing up i wanted to be a fashion designer and make clothes for petite men p men my size who can't fit into quote-unquote normal regular men's clothing but this should also motivate I really want to call her Jessica <laughs> I don't know why I think I've just said Jessica a lot in this video this should motivate O negative to change her lifestyle what she really needs to do is stop this fake running narrative stop pretending that she's actually running what she really needs to do is get into the water, get into the pool and swim or walk. That will be a lot easier and healthier on her body, especially her knees and her ankles because of all the weight. I'm not being mean, I'm not hating. She really, really needs to take better care of herself. And I don't know if you guys knew about or could tell earlier, I was being over dramatic on purpose to get you guys' attention. So if anyone got all mad because I overreacted, breathe, my friends. I don't know, I just think the whole situation is just really sad. She wants to play the blame game, but says it's also no one's fault. Girl, please. Girl, no. Girl, bye. All right, everyone. Well, I'm gonna go because I'm honestly over this. I'm really tired of talking about her right now. So, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Please comment below all of your thoughts. Please give this video a thumbs up. Share my videos because sharing is caring. I love you guys and stay fit by smashing the like button. Bye-bye for now.